What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm not wasting any time today. We're going to jump straight into the topic of how to save your first $10,000 fast. First, I'm going to show you this video because I'm going to hit on a big pain point that a lot of us have real quick and we'll jump straight into the topic. Check this out. Good jobs. I'm a nurse. I'm a registered nurse. I work full time. He works full time. We just got paid this past Friday, right? We paid the mortgage, <laughs> bought some groceries, put some gas in the car. <laughs> and guys, it is Tuesday. And we have like two or three hundred dollars to last us until next Friday. <laughs> like, we don't live in a big house. We, we live in a little, just, little ranch. 1100 square feet three bedrooms one bath us and our two kids this isn't how it's supposed to be you know growing up we were told you know go to college get a degree work to support your family here we are did that now what there's a lot to unpack right there and one of the biggest reasons why i always talk about saving money on this channel and amongst other very important things is this Inflation continues to go up and up and up in spite. We don't know at what point it's gonna slow down. And so you've gotta be ready. You've gotta have that money on hand. And if you have something like 10 grand to the side, that's gonna really offset. It's not gonna matter as much when it comes to how much you make versus inflation once you have that money left over. We're gonna jump straight into how you can get there fast. And I'm going to prevent myself from saying any of the old tired things that I've said all throughout the entirety of my channel, things like cutting expenses and automating your savings account and having a high yield savings account. Even I made a video about that last week. If you wanna learn how to set that up, check that video out. But this video is for the ladies and gentlemen who really want to take action and start saving towards that $10,000. And I'm gonna break it down how you can get there fast. So the first thing is, like the lady in the video, she made a very good point and very good points in general, but I want to share this with you. The first step is to stop feeling sorry for yourself and start taking that action. And that's way easier said than done because I myself have been in situations where I've went for something and have questioned and doubted myself in pursuit of that thing. And that thought alone had paralyzed me. and it can stop you dead in your tracks for days, weeks, months, sometimes even years. And that's what we're not going to do in this video. So you've got to stop feeling sorry for yourself. You've got to pick yourself up and start devising a plan. And here's exactly how you do it. You do it by not rushing. I've been in a rush before to save up for something and buy it real quick and be like, ah, I got the money. I'm going to buy it. Then next thing I knew, I was reaching for my savings account and taking money from there just to keep my checking account afloat. That is not how you do it properly. Even if you're saving up for good things, I was saving up money to put a lot of money into my investment accounts. And I got overzealous about this a few years ago to the point where I had to reach into my savings just to keep my checking account afloat. That ain't what we're here for. That's rushing and rushing is gonna have consequences. And the way that you prevent yourself from rushing is simply to plan out exactly how you're going to get your $10,000, but, in the worst case scenario. And before I break that down, I'm gonna ask you a question, a very important question that I want you to be asking yourself. Have you ever looked at something that you've spent money on every single month? Like for example, it could be DoorDash or it could be Uber, something you really don't need, but it's just really convenient and really nice to have, but it's kind of pricey because this is exactly how you're gonna think about saving your money. And I'm not telling you necessarily to take those specific examples I just gave and cut those expenses. That's not necessarily what I'm saying. I'm just saying you wanna look at saving money in that same way. So for example, last year, I gave over $14,000 to my church. Tithing is something I'm very big on doing, right? But the thing was, I was like, man, really? I gave $14,000? Like I, I didn't realize it. And I just looked over the whole spreadsheet from January to December and I'm like, man, that added up quick. And I just looked at the increments of money that I put into the church. And then some contributions will be bigger than others just depending on how earnings were for that month or for that week or whatever the case was, right? And so for you, you might have the exact same example as me, or it might be Uber, or it might be DoorDash, or it could be something that you're spending money on. 
I didn't put in $14,000 right then at the beginning of the year. And frankly, I didn't have 14,000 to give at the beginning of the year. But if you look at the amount of money you're spending right now on Uber Eats, it might be $300, $400 a month. And so eventually by the end of the year, you get to a bigger number like $3,600. That $3,600 can obviously go back into your pocket or it may be more than that. And so I wanna give you that analogy because this is what you're gonna do when you plan using this spreadsheet that I have provided for you for free. This is the most elaborate thing I've ever put together and I've put it together specifically for you to plan your budget and compare it to what you actually spend every single month. And from there it's up to you to decide what exactly which expenses you want to cut. So I'm gonna show it on the screen while I'm describing it. I don't feel like being all interactive with my laptop today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna describe it and I'm gonna show it on screen what I'm talking about. So it's very simple, it's split three ways. Your income, your expenses, and your savings. Those are the bare bones basics of your personal finances. Now this is designed so that you do plan it with the worst case scenario in mind. There's gonna be categories listed off to your left and you can of course decide if you wanna add more or take some things away, that's gonna be up to you. But what you wanna do is focus on the heaviest and most important expenses first and then put all the rest of the expenses later. And then you'll start to get a feel for how much you make per month and how exactly, down to the cent, how much you expect to spend every single month and how much you're able to save every month. This is just the budgeting slash planning section. So that's why this page that I'm referring to is called the budget planner. This is your plan on paper. And then the next page is gonna be your tracker. All you're gonna do is put your bank transactions in there and you'll see all that good stuff on the screen. You're basically just putting the date, what expense it was, how much the expense cost, blah, blah. And you're also gonna put your income in there too. So whatever date you got your paycheck and how much that ended up being. And lastly is going to be a dashboard which reflects precisely how your spending and saving went for that month. So what you basically have is your expectations versus your reality. And again, this is 100% free. It will be located down in the description under the freebie section, click on it, download it, and love your life because it's gonna be about good. It's gonna take a little work on your end. You're gonna to have to fill everything out, but the calculations are automatic. The spreadsheet and dashboard is automatic once you fill everything out. It'll produce the graphs and charts of everything so you'll know exactly where you're overspending and where you're not. And you can decide for yourself where you're gonna cut expenses and you can decide for yourself how much you wanna save per month. And then you can decide exactly how long it's gonna take for you to save your 10 grand. Because when I say fast, I mean fast for you. Of course, there's other things that you can do that I've spoken about in other videos like increase your income and blah, blah, blah. Those things take time to do. In fact, it takes longer to start pro to create something to produce more income than it does to actually save individually every month to get your $10,000, in my opinion. Now, if you're already making extra income, you can start thinking about how you're using that extra income differently. But let's say you were able to save $1,000 a month, which is very good. Then you could pretty much assume that it would take you 10 months to save your 10 grand. But then in the back of your head, you can say, okay, well, um, I might get a tax refund and I might not owe and they might actually give me a little extra. They might give me five, $600, maybe even a thousand dollars. Cool. If they're going to give that, then you know that it might be a month earlier. Then you start to think, even more logically, you're not counting on a bonus from work, but let's say you do get a bonus from work. Ah, that's money that can go into my savings early and then it can help me get to my goal earlier. And even if you get a promotion, same exact concept. That's how you wanna think about the money that you're earning. You wanna think about it a little differently. And I believe this spreadsheet is gonna help you do just that. Because it's not just about having a goal to hit 10,000 by a certain month, it's about how you get there and if how you get there in the worst case scenario is by saving four hundred dollars a month you can divide 
10,000 by 400. In the worst case scenario, it takes you 25 months to get that 10 grand, two years in one month. Is that a long time? I mean, not in the grand scheme of things, it's really not. And who's to say you won't make more money in between that time and get there twice as fast as you think you're gonna get there. Don't get discouraged by the timeline that it appears that you'll reach your savings goal. But you want to have that worst case scenario set up for yourself so you know in the in the most pessimistic circumstance you will be able to save ten thousand dollars within two years and one month that's just an example and you want to think about this for every one of your savings goals and by the way there is another savings spreadsheet that i have that is for all of your savings goals that has little meters on the side that shows you how close you are to it because i haven't found a bank account that has that capability that when you start saving for something that it shows you out of two thousand dollars for example let's say you're saving up for something that costs two thousand dollars and you have 200 saved up it has meters that show you how close you are to it sometimes when i've saved for things in the past i forgot and how much it would cost to get that thing that I'm saving for, or I'll be using one savings account to save for multiple things in. You won't have to do all of that once you have the spreadsheet that I'm talking about. It's called the savings goal spreadsheet, and I recommend getting that too. The point for this video is you want to get there as quickly and cleanly as possible without having to borrow from your savings account, because what that's gonna create is you get into $10,000 quicker than you think, but then immediately taking $2,000 out just to keep your checking account afloat. And if you have to do that, did you really hit your goal or are you robbing Peter to pay Paul? Never thought I'd say that on this channel, but I just found a way. Anyway, for more saving tips, I have a lot of other videos, but that's really all I wanted to talk about. So if what, no matter what your savings goal is, I don't care if you're saving for your emergency fund or your savings account or to start investing or for a house or for college, whatever you're saving for, that mentality will work for you. But you have to have the discipline to actually fill out that spreadsheet. It is 100% free. Go ahead and click it down below, download it. And we all have pain points, but don't feel sorry for yourself. You have to get up and you have to do the action because no one out here is about to do it for you. But you do have this channel and you do have me and consider me your guide to help you get to your goals. Anyway, that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. And I provide simple, realistic ways to achieve your financial goals in today's economy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.